thing I, I don't want to end the episode without mentioning this, and I'm not going to rant about it because if y'all want to hear me rant about it, I think I we clipped it into a separate video and posted it. So go watch the video we posted about the Suns. But Frank Vogel did officially get the boot. Oh, yeah. This, oh, my God. Yeah, which I, I said in the last one, if he would have gotten the boot, would have been one of the dumbest decisions in the last decade. I stand on that very firmly because, again, what what – what is a coach going to change, bro? There's so many issues with this team that Frank Vogel could not have done any better on. It's just bad personnel, bad roster construction. There, there's clearly a lack of synergy between the head coach and the front office because what he wants is getting denied. That's just a bad situation. And now he's got like $25 million left on his deal over the next four years to not coach. So, you know what? Shout out Frank Vogel, bro. Man, bro. he's about to be a multimillionaire to just sit at the crib. Bro, one should not have any, like, if, if he's looking for a future job, they shouldn't be like, oh, he got fired for the Suns job. That shouldn't be no knock on a resume at all. You gave a defensive coach no defensive players or personnel. Mm -hmm. He said, I need a point guard. No, you don't, bro. Why you ain't work? Why you ain't make it work? Nah, bro, you gotta go. Like, it just, like it's the dumbest firing ever. It it literally makes no sense. This is this might be like if you search up scapegoat, like it will be his picture. Like right. it's the definition of scapegoat. It made absolutely no sense. So yeah, yeah, sit up, get paid. Anybody in the future should not look at this as like, oh, he got fired from the sun job. No, bro. It did. It, it was a, a, just a terrible job because you got a terrible owner. If I'm a coach, and I get it, if I my phone will ring and it say Matt Ishbia. Decline. I don't, I don't want this job. I don't want no. this job at all. Because what are they talking about right now? What are the reports that's coming out? First of all, the leading, it sounds like it's about to be Budenholzer that ends up being the guy that takes the job. But they said a big reason why is because they want they want a guy that's going to come in and, and fix their offense. We can't be for real, bro. <sighs> bro I James just... Jones in his press conference talking about some. I don't think that Kevin Durant has ever been maximized in his career. We have to find a way to maximize him. What are we talking about? What? Like, just the, it's like there's a for real disconnect between what I feel like everyone else is seeing and what the people in the Suns organization is seeing. Bro. Ma Ishbia is about to ruin James Jones' reputation because he's gonna get be the one that's like. Because I don't think he's a bad GM. I think that when Ishbia came in, that's what messed everything up. Right. But now it, James Jones has to go along with it because that's the boss writing the check. So now it's gonna make him look bad because him saying that is like that's to me. If you just said the quote, I like oh Matt Ishbia said that. I don't. I right. didn't really think James Jones said that. Which is I, it, I don't know. This whole situation is just stupid. It's just so dumb. It makes absolutely no sense. And I agree with you. If I'm a coach, I don't want this job. This is not a good job. This is not a good situation. If I'm those 20, what was it, 29 other teams, I don't want to switch rosters or draft. I don't want to do that. No, they're in a terrible situation. Absolutely yeah. terrible. And just for context, the full quote he said, I think it was in his like exit press conference, he, James Jones, who is the Phoenix Suns GM, said that's a constant focus for us to continue to figure out how to maximize Kevin Durant. No one has done it yet. I believe we will be the first team to do it because if we can maximize him, we can maximize our entire roster. We're a better team, but that's not an issue. I think Kevin had a phenomenal season this year offensively. What? I'm what? They're not worried about, bro. I don't know. What, what, what maximizing are we doing? For a 36, 37-year-old Kevin Durant, who still had one of the best seasons of his career. Like what and might have had one of the best defensive seasons of his career, on top of him still being a historically efficient scorer, one of the best scorers you've ever seen. That's yeah. not maximizing. If I was KD, I would be offended. Like, what are you talking? What are, genuinely, what are you talking about? What more are you trying to get out of me? I don't think KD is the problem. I don't think you could pinpoint. Any of the players as the problem. I did see somebody. I did see somebody in the comments of the video say they. They said I think the real problem. They said they called him Bradley Steele. I'm just stealing money from the Suns <laughs> organization. <laughs> That's facts, though. That's Look, facts. You, 
you can't pinpoint that on any one player, bro. No. Nah. And if you're going to try to pinpoint on anybody, KD, one of the last ones you need to be pointing a finger at. For real. Because he's giving you what he can give you for an offense that is stale with no actions, no motion, no flow, no point guard. Like, it's, it's, like you said, look up the definition of scapegoat. You can see a picture of Frank Vogel in his son's quarter zip because that's exactly what happened. Just like a week ago, like right after their series, reporters are asking me, say, yeah, yeah, it should be a cool, bro. My job is not, not even close to being in, in jeopardy. Can't. Can. <laughs> it's crazy. And they're going to just recycle. I feel like the NBA just recycles like Budenholzer, Doc Rivers, all these like eh, coaches. They got a name. They just keep recycling them over yeah. and over and over again. And nothing's going to change. I don't I don't understand the logic at all. Again, if I'm Budenholzer, this is not this is not the job I would take. This is no. not at all the job that I would take. <laughs> yeah, the latest report from Shams uh, said that you know, it sounds like he's going to get a deal worth eight figures a year. Um, and he said he will be tasked with optimizing Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and Bradley Beal. And what's crazy is, you want to know what his first thing is going to be? He's probably going to get a point guard added to the roster. <laughs> if I was Frank Vogel, I would be, I wouldn't even be pissed because he, like I just said, he getting the checks for free. Mm. So I would be happy. But like the fact that y'all are going to give him, the personnel that I was asking for would piss me off. Yeah, it would. I, it, I don't know. I, sons are just, I don't even want to waste my time with Sons, bro. It's just so dumb. So yeah. dumb. Pathetic. Pathetic. Highest payroll in the NBA next year, though. To swept in the first round. 2019 is what switch places, though. That's the, that's the wildest quote, bro. I still can't believe he said that. Like, yeah. it, he literally made it seem like everything was all dandy, bro. We would want to switch our whole team, our roster, and our draft futures. Y'all got no draft picks. Y'all just got swept. OKC is the one seed, and they have, like, 19 draft picks, 19 first-round picks until, like, 2030 or whatever it was. They'd rather be the Suns, though, for sure. They'd rather be in Cancun right now looking for a head coach. He said 26 of the 29 teams. Like, what three teams do you think, in his mind, he thinks – are better than the are in a better position than Phoenix. I mean the Timberwolves because they just beat them the Nuggets and the Celtics that's it that's it <clears throat> that's the so you, so so then right but if you to take one of those teams out I think you would have to say the Thunder are in a better spot just like you're not his center. mind that's crazy not delusional. his mind he delusional bro. Mm-hmm.